OMG, I'm freaking out. You've got all these different emojis. Here's the code to get them. You've also got size increases so you can change the size of your text. You can also make it really small. And so this is so awesome. What we have here is a less than symbol and a greater than symbol. And then inside of that, you put down size equals plus five or whatever size you want it to be. And then you use the slash size to cancel it. It looks like we have mark to do highlighting. So that's awesome. It looks like you can put a color code in there too. So it's mark equals then color code and then slash mark to end. Oh, color equals green. Whoa. And then you can change the color of text. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Color equals red. Wow. I wonder how many colors there are. And looks like we've got this, the heart face. So it's sprite space index equals two. And then there's all the different sprites up there. And then style H1. That is interesting. I didn't realize there were styles available. That is so very, very cool. Seriously, huge shout out to you. This is so incredible. How did you discover this? A lot of people had been talking about HTML. And it's like, well, no, it's not HTML. It doesn't support that. Yeah. Um, and so I was like looking around and found something called TPM or something like that. Yeah. And it's something that Unity uses. Oh. So at, <laughs> at this, it's, it's another tagging system. This is very exciting yeah. stuff. And if you haven't already seen yeah. the two videos we've made on text formatting, I'll be sure to link those in the description, but huge shout out to you. If you have any questions, seriously, check out this world. It's text formatting and there's lots of details here. So thank you again and we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.